What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, checking out some more Prank Kid support coming out of Hidden Summoners. Prank Kids look like they're getting a whole bunch of support cards. I wish that they'd get some more spells and traps because as of right now, they just kind of have one like support card that's not a monster. But we do have a new fusion and a new link monster that was revealed. The first card is the fusion. It's another level five. So uh, this is the second level five monster that they have. Rocket is also level five. This is Prank Kids Weather. It's a level five water aqua monster. So many aquas and water in this archetype. Uh, 2,000 attack, zero defense. It requires two prank kids monsters to summon. I think that that's one of the biggest benefits about the level five fusion monsters in this archetype is that you can use any of your prank kids monsters to summon them. The uh, the big butler, he requires three specific ones. He requires the main deck guys, which means you can't use the links for fusion summoning. You can't use other fusion, so that's a little bit of a bummer. But two, two prank kids fusion monsters is pretty easy to meet. The second effect is the hard ones per turn. The first effect says, if a prank kid's monster you control attacks, your opponent cannot activate effects until the end of the damage step. This is actually quite useful because it doesn't just include itself. It makes all your monsters, well, if you have all prank kid's monsters, but it turns all your prank kid's monsters into Armadis or Utopia the Lightning. That can be really useful, not just for locking out stuff like Scapegoat, but then if you attack over like a Sky Striker monster, it won't be able to, you know, activate its effect to summon Ray back from the graveyard if you're playing against like a pure variant. The second effect says, during your opponent's turn quick effect you contribute this card then target two prank kids monsters with different names from your graveyard except fusion monsters special summon them and if you do they cannot be destroyed by battle this turn wow that's actually wow that is actually really good i didn't realize that it gave them battle protection that is nice because obviously it gives you a little bit of targeting protection. If your opponent tries to like target your, uh, you know, your prank kids weather, you can tag it out during your opponent's turn. You can bring out your two prank kids monsters from the graveyard. They can't be destroyed by battle. They can be targeted themselves and your opponent can still target them or destroy them with like card effects and whatnot. But the fact that they can't be destroyed by battle, I think that that's pretty good. I would definitely run this card. I think that like rocket and weather, you're probably just going to run like one copy of them each. I definitely think uh, that that's a pretty good effect then we have prank kids doodle which is a link two, which i think is a blessing for the deck their link four is fine the big raygon dragon i mean it's cool i think it's matchup specific because you know investing four prank kids uh like monsters into a monster that's going to tribute itself that can be kind of difficult especially when you can't like monster reborn it you know the the link monsters in this archetype can only be summoned by link summoning so you know you can't get them back from the graveyard that's kind of difficult i mean it has a feather duster and that's nice but i don't know it seems like a lot of resources so prank kids doodle this is a link to wind thunder monster uh 2000 attack left bottom and uh, or excuse me left and bottom are the link points okay so those are those are fine link points i think um basically it's like the reverse of alter guys hextia and that card i mean I, I don't think you're really gonna have more uh, a need for more than one downward pointing arrow in this archetype anyways now it just requires two print kids monsters and each of the effects is a hard once per turn first effect that this card is link summoned you can add one print kid spell or trap card uh from your deck to your hand this is an amazing effect the big problem with this is as i said earlier in the video there is only one print kid spell in the entire archetype there are no traps as of right now so i mean it's nice you can get your prank kids on the loose you can get your fusion spell and that's really cool but it's kind of a linear play you really don't have anything else to fall back on the second effect says you contribute this card, target two prank kids with different names in your graveyard, except link monsters, add those to your hand. Um, I actually don't like this effect as much as I do kind of like summoning from the graveyard. I think that you'll probably run this card just to open up some extra monster zones, but I don't know. It's not as good. Like I thought I thought originally that it was a, a monster reborn, but it actually gets them to the hand. I think it's, it's really interesting. The fusion seem better than the uh, link monsters in this archetype, and you don't generally think of fusion summoning being more powerful for the link summoning but with this archetype specifically in my opinion i think that the fusions are just wholeheartedly better than the link monsters they just seem more effective they seem like they can do a little more damage and they seem like better disruptive cards but i think you're going to run like pretty much all the extra deck cards at, at this point because you kind of need to maybe like uh there may be a couple of cards you run a couple copies of but i'm not even mad about the link points of this card i'm just mad that it's a a warrior returning a live type deal i'd rather have a, mo a double monster reborn 
Storm, like a, um, what's that card? Not Infernity uh, Launcher, but uh, a Goki Rematch type deal. But I think that these are two fair cards. I think that Weather is significantly better, and I think that it's, uh, maybe you run multiples of, but you're still going to run Prank Kids Doodle because it is a Link 2, and if you do happen to go into it, your monsters are going to flow, and they're going to summon themselves, and then you have a downward pointing arrow for you to be able to go into, I don't know, your uh, Fusion Monster, since it's going to get you your Prank Kids on the loose. So, let me know what you guys think of these Prank Kid cards and the archetype as a whole. Leave it in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. As always, subscribe if you have not already, and turn on that notification bell for daily videos. Also, one last thing, because people were mentioning this on Reddit, what the holy hell is going on with Prank Kids Weather? Is this thing like sucking water up its ass or what? Because it kind of has that little the little red, you know, thing on its face where you're embarrassed like they do in the animes and whatnot. So I know that there's some pervy shit going on in this card art and I can expect or I fully expect it to be censored. I feel like Konami is going to put this guy in some type of like super large kilt where you can't even see water flowing into his asshole or I guess water going out of his ass I, I don't know whatever you guys tell me in the comment section below